In this video, we're gonna be talking about what makes Arabic SEO different than English SEO. Welcome to our channel. This is Estes Out of Marketing. We specialize in helping companies reach Arab consumers through digital marketing. In this video, we're gonna be talking about some of the things that are unique to Arabic SEO that make it stand out from doing SEO in English. So the first thing is, there are few competitors in the Arabic language. And this has a number of reasons behind it. One is that um, a lot of business owners have cho chosen to like focus more on social media. And so they haven't put a lot of time into their own websites. Um, in general though, there's just a lot less Arabic writers out there that are writing content on the web. And so there tend to be fewer quantity wise Arabic search engine optimizers out there. Then you have the quality aspect. So because they're fewer in general, you're gonna have far fewer people that are skilled in the field of Arabic SEO. And so that makes it so typically in most industries, you're not gonna be running up against like a full page of Google results where everyone on that page really knows how to do SEO great. A lot of the results that you're gonna see are people who just happen to get lucky getting there without really having a deep knowledge of SEO. The other thing to note, because of some of these other factors I just mentioned, it takes less time to rank. So if you know it's gonna take you six months or a year to rank for something in English, it's probably gonna take you maybe half that time to be able to rank in Arabic. Again, that comes down to just being there, there's less competition and you'll be able to rank for some things that maybe no one else is ranking for and you can start getting traffic really quickly if you already have some authority in your website. Now with this comes some unique challenges in the Middle East. And one of those things would be it's harder to get links. So a lot of the websites that are in the Middle East, they don't link out. Copyright law isn't very well respected in a lot of the Middle Eastern countries. And so sometimes people will just literally copy content. Or another thing that could happen is you actually get a link from a website, but it's a no follow link. And so in general, it tends to be a lot harder to get links. There's fewer prospects to get those links from, but at the same time, you need less links to rank. So oftentimes it can be much easier for you to rank uh, in Arabic, even if you just have some links coming into your site from outside of the region to maybe some of your English pages, if it's on the same domain, sometimes you can rank with very few links in the Arabic language. So that's an important to know too. It's not that you can't get links in Arabic, it's just gonna be a lot harder. So some of the technical challenges with Arabic often come up in that the web wasn't really created for Arabic in the first place. It was created kind of for Latin languages. And so a lot of the programming languages that function on the web aren't really set up to deal with right to left issues very well. So you have to have some custom um, CSS and formatting for those. And then the other thing that comes up oftentimes is the Arabic characters are oftentimes creating some challenges and things like URLs and different um, programming that uh, either creates a challenge for those Arabic characters getting indexed correctly, or in some cases it may be that the Arabic characters in a URL or something like that cause a tool or something like that not to function the way it should. So um, in the early days of social media, a lot of times sharing Arabic URLs could create a problem. A lot of the tools that are out there that are used for a lot of marketing different functions, sometimes those don't work the way that they're supposed to when you use Arabic URLs. There's a common problem with Google Tag Manager that didn't allow Arabic URLs in certain contexts. And so we'll continue to see that being a challenge, but it's one of those things that you can get around. Again, because of the competition being less, in general, we tend to find that ranking on Google Arabic is much easier than ranking in English in a lot of countries. So it's definitely something that we would recommend. If you're looking for getting help with your Arabic SEO, definitely reach out to us. It's something we can help with. 